here's something. Uh, Y-Wing Scout Bomber with Kanan Jarrus from Star Wars Rebels. As you can tell, it's been totally plastered down. Uh, apparently, this was $24.99 on clearance for $12.48. And I think I scored it on eBay for a measly $6 or less. I think it was like $1.50 plus shipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tells you what Disney has done to Star Wars. Disney has ruined Star Wars. The Last Jedi was a flop. And the funny thing is, just as an aside, the, uh, what do you call it? The Last Jedi, even though Rotten Tomatoes says it's at 91% of the, what the critics say, the critics, of course, all being subsidiaries of Disney and all jacking it up high, the popcorn score, the viewers that, the people that are us, that actually go there and vote on it, we say it's a 47%. And the funny thing is, even though it says 47%, it's actually more like 24%. Reason being, Rotten Tomatoes will not uh, uh, factor in any score, any vote that's a half star. They say that's excessive. So they won't uh, factor that into the uh, score. Isn't that funny? Your voting goes nowhere on Rotten Tomatoes. They just, they're just following the Disney narrative, and the Disney narrative is that everybody loves this movie. But they don't, because it's a social justice warrior nightmare, and they have pretty much admitted that. They went all Ghostbusters 2016 on it, and how? They didn't just go 20, Ghostbusters 2016 on the movie itself. They went Ghostbusters 2016 in their critique of the viewers that don't like it, saying they're all man babies living in their mommy's basement and they're afraid of women, which is really stupid because even if you didn't know what Star Wars was, that was a shit ass movie. Oh my God, was it just rife with garbage? Ugh. Like, like, usually when a movie's that bad, especially a Star Wars movie, fan edits can save it. And I've only seen like one or two people on YouTube have, who have come close to kind of fixing it which results in deleting a lot of footage. Oh my god, there's so much shit falling out of this. Okay, what we got on the back here? Not much, not much, not much, not much to say. Nothing really to say. Here's some instructions. Very pointless, very pointless. And it shows you how to drop the bombs. Deuces away. Okay, here's the bombs right here. Bomb one, bomb two. This used to be a toy that came out in the uh, Clone Wars line, you know, from the good, <laughs> one of the last good uh, Lucasfilm things before Disney took over. And it's a lot different than that one, believe it or not. Not just in color, but also in functionality. <clears throat> Anything else? No, no. Nothing else in the box? No, no. Okay, that's it. The one that came from uh, the Clone Wars, um, it, I, I'm not even sure if it had that hatch, but this hatch here did not close right, and also this, I don't believe was in the Clone Wars version, because this one helps you elevate your R2 unit. Uh, I don't have one. Uh, in Star Wars Rebels, they had a character named Chopper. It was like their version of a R2 for that series. And it's like, Chopper was a lot shorter than an R2-D2 figure was. So, you know, logically, to put Chopper in the back, they gave him a little platform with which to raise him up. And yeah, so the Clone Wars version did not have that. And it's a pretty cool thing that they would do that. I'm glad they did. That's cool. Yeah, I think the Clone Wars didn't work like that. I think it was different. I can't remember. I've only seen pictures. <laughs> These swing around. Whoa, hello. Okay, how do I open this shit? There's a latch. Oh my god. Well, bye-bye, fingernail. I didn't need you anyway. Okay, these swing forward like this. There is a single little tiny, uh, whatchamacallit down there. And it's nice that they did that. What's funny is on the new Millennium Falcon figure, or playset for the uh, uh, Han Solo movie that's uh, gonna bomb and uh, coming out, they had uh, gear shifts for two figures, but you can only fit one figure in the cabin. It's just so stupid. Even the toys to the new Star Wars stuff is stupid. Ugh, it's so sad. Okay, let's get Kanan out of here. Ugh. 
just so you have to buy another figure, they made sure that if you give him a headset. Eh, it's not so bad. I kind of dig it. Uh, his paint job's not too bad. Yeah, let's see. Does his joint smooth? Oh, God. Snap. That one's good. Snap. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Okay, his joint's move and everything's uh, in order. First order. Does he stand? Motherfucker, can you stand? Yeah, just barely. Okay, he does come with a lightsaber. Unlike the Ezra speeder, this lightsaber does not split in two. Uh, where's my knife now? Good lord, how do I lose such sharp pointy objects? Oh, well, when they go sideways and jab upwards, ready to kill me. Like, of course. Beep. As uh, just about everybody who's ever reviewed this will say, I'm late to the game. This is a bent lightsaber. And it's not really supposed to be, is it? And even though they tried bending it back in place, it always comes back to bent mode. So he's one of those guys with a bent one. Poor things. Well, actually, that would be probably pretty beneficial, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's get off that shit. <laughs> pretty decent little lightsaber, anyway. Eh. Okay. So Kanan puts his arms out. He pretends as if he's able to reach these uh, steering wheels, but he's not. So that's just a thing that's always pissed me off in toys. God, I've hated that. Hi, I'm sitting in a cockpit, but I can't hold the controls. God, what, what a fucking awesome play feature. So anyway, he's in there and everything's cool. And these things can uh, go like this, like this, you know. Kind of pointless, actually. It's just a cute little th feature, you know. And the bombs go in her. I guess it doesn't matter which way. Boop. And they got that kind of like knobby joint tech for uh, uh, missiles like like uh, Hasbro has made popular. And you're flying along, you press the buttons on top. Boop. And they poop out missiles. Wow, that's exciting. Not really. Eh, it's a nice feature though, I suppose. Uh, it's not a bad little thing. I mean, I'm not really into Star Wars. I'm really not. I mean it, I'm really not. But, I mean, this is just a cool little vehicle. It's not as big and bulky as the old one. It's not as detailed as the old one, but it's just got a nice look to it. I kind of dig it. If I'm not mistaken, this was never in the uh, Rebels show. This was just strictly a vehicle that was in a uh, Clone Wars. But, you know, this repaint is interesting. And knowing me, and again, my disdain for yellow, I will probably repaint this. That will probably... Eh, maybe I'll keep that one. This has got to go. That's got to go. That's got to go. That's got to go. I just can't do yellow. Yellow's not cool. Well, that's kind of a shitty paint job there, isn't it? The gray's going all over into the dark gray. Ugh. Yeah, could be worse. Could be worse. A little blemish there. Eh. Well, for what I paid for it, which was like, like I said, a buck something with <laughs> shipping. <laughs> it was like pennies, practically. This ain't bad. I'm going to go get an R2 unit and see if I can fit him in there. <sighs> okay, here's an R2 unit that glows in the dark that I have augmented to accept this uh, drink serving uh, thing on top. Is that really my function for existence? So yeah, let's see if he fits. Okay, you know what? That's, stu that's stupid. This is just a big ring here. <clears throat> okay, I'll take the shiny chrome one. Plop. Okay, way too tall. So let me get rid of that platform inside. In you go. Bleep, blop, bloop. Oh god, that's just that's just not right at all. I already took out the platform. So maybe this is really just meant for Chopper. Because, you know, Chopper is a smaller, smaller astromech. Man, what the fuck? I'm going to scratch this bitch up just trying to get him in here. Yeah, yeah, holy shit. Maybe it really is just meant for Chopper? That's kind of weird. You would think they would just let any astromech fit in there. But no. 
Wow. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Shit. I didn't expect that. Even with the platform out. Wait. That doesn't make sense, though. If, if this was added for the Rebels line for Chopper, then that means this bitch will take an R2 unit. Maybe it's because he has a wheel that's uh, sticking down? Let's see. This, this motherfucker doesn't have a wheel sticking down. Let's see. There, okay. It's because the chrome one has a has a uh, wheel sticking down down his dick. Okay. So as long as you have an R2 unit that doesn't have a, a third leg, <laughs> uh, he's fine. Yeah. And <laughs> he looks funny with the drink server thing on his head. Yeah. Normally this uh, drink server thing didn't uh, thing it didn't work with him. I had to actually drill his head if I'm not mistaken. Because apparently this, these Disney store ones are not the same as these, uh, whatever one that came from. So yeah, eh, I dig it. I dig it a lot. In the name of asymmetry, or in the name of symmetry, I'd really like to push that backwards, but he's only going to be in there for a few seconds, so who gives a shit? Yep, that's the uh, Rebels... Uh, B-Wing? B-Wing? Yes, B-Wing? No? Yes? Y-Wing! Rebels Y-Wing Scout Bomber. Ugh. Like, subscribe, all that poop.